Hi guys, Lily here. My Crate Crochet subscription arrived. I'm going to open that with you today. Before I open it, check out the project from last month's box, all finished. It's a triangular shawl. I'm still not entirely sure about the style. What do you think? The yarn is really soft, so it's comfortable around your neck. And I had a little bit of yarn left over, so I made myself some matching gloves. Just a really simple pattern I came up with, kind of a granny stripe with a little frill around the top. I would like some advice. If you have a crochet subscription box, is it one you'd recommend? Are you happy with it? I'm looking at maybe making a change, trying a new one. I am enjoying Crate Crochet and I might still keep the subscription going. I've got two more boxes to come on my six month subscription, but frequently the projects don't come with a gauge. Struggling with words today, sorry. I didn't have enough yarn to finish my shawl, so I had to buy extra yarn or start from scratch with a smaller hook. I had a similar problem with making my mandala fit the loop they provided. If there had been a gauge, I'd have made a gauge swatch and known from the beginning that I needed a different hook size and avoided all that frogging. So if you have a subscription box suggestion for me, put it in the comments below and I'll look into it. Let's open the box. I actually didn't wrestle with the box for once. Look at that. That's really cute. I like the pink spots or the white spots on the pink. What have we got? Easy peasy cat beanie. The yarn. It's purple again, clearly. I think I like purple. Purple is nice, I do like purple. And this one is alpaca, 100% alpaca made in Australia. It's from the Australian Yarn Company and they're in Bendigo. It's an eight ply yarn. I've got three balls of it this month. Also in the box we have buttons. That's nice. They're really nice buttons actually. Um, the last button that came in one of the boxes said Crate Crochet and I joked, oh, if it had my name on it, I'd use it. So these ones just say handmade and they've got a little love heart. I think that's a much nicer idea. I think a lot more people are likely to put that on their finished beanie than something that says Crate Crochet. So there is one big one and there are also two smaller buttons and they all say handmade with little love hearts. I get another great big plastic needle that doesn't go through the button, but luckily I happen to have just a couple of other needles, just one or two. There's also something in a little package. Ooh, it's a stitch marker. It's a yellow bead kind of stitch marker. I'd be interested to know, do you use this style of stitch marker? Do you find it practical? I tend to go back to the plain plastic ones just because they're much easier to use, but I mean, these are really pretty. Let me know, do you use these? Are they useful? And of course, there's the pattern. Oh, actually there's a second pattern. There's the Easy Peasy Cat Beanie and Winter Wrist Cuffs which I guess is sort of like a fingerless glove, but without even the thumb. That could be fun to try. And finally, blueberry tea, black currant and blueberry tea, and I'm gonna pull the face. No, just no. Um, and one, two, three Mentos. And that's the box this month. It does look really nice. I'm just gonna do a quick check to see whether there's a gauge. So there's no gauge on this, which makes it difficult to know whether it's actually gonna use the amount of yarn she's talking about, because from the three balls of yarn, I'm assuming we're meant to be able to make a beanie and a matching pair of wrist cuffs. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go, because I know that my stitching style is not the same as hers, but we'll see. It'll be fun to try, and I never mind frogging things. I just get a little bit frustrated when I have to keep buying more yarn. So saying that, that sounds really odd coming out of my mouth. If there's one hobby I have after crochet, it's definitely buying more yarn. So perhaps I should just be happy and buy more yarn every month. Thank you so much for opening this with me. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button and join me for more unboxing videos. I've got a playlist of unboxing videos that I've popped a link to up on the screen for you now. 
Or if you like actual crochet and are looking for an idea for your next project, you might prefer one of these videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.